Hello, and welcome to the training presentation for your NEC DT820 new telephone and voicemail. Let's get started. There are a few things you need to know about your new phones and your new phone system. Your new phones are VoIP, which stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. This means that your new phone will plug into the data jack that your computer was plugged into, and your computer will plug into the back of your telephone. You also now need to dial 10 digits to make internal calls. So previously, if you were dialing five digits to each other, you'll need to include the 410-697 and the last uh, four digits of that person's number, um, or whatever 10 digits you use at your building. You will no longer need to dial a nine to make an outside call. So you can just dial 10 digits for internal extensions as well as outside calls. You will also no longer need a rollover extension. Um, today, you may have a second line as a matching extension number to your direct number. Um, that will go away. Each line can now have up to four calls at a time on your new system. So you can have four active calls, whether you made the call or received the call. And these calls will stack up and come in on your phone display, not on another line. So all your calls will come in and go out on your direct number. This is a picture of your new DT820 telephone. Um, it shows you all the buttons that we're going to go over in a second. And this is a picture of your new DT820 telephone that shows a little bit about the screen. And these buttons at the bottom of your screen, we're going to go over in a second. And I just wanted you to see what this looked like. So let's talk a little bit about the buttons. Um, up at the top of your phone in the right hand side, which is where it is today, there'll be a lamp, a light that will come on. Um, it will come on, first of all, solid red to let you know you have new voicemail messages, and it will flash whenever you have an incoming call. Um, this is your screen or your LCD, and this displays information about lines on your phones or incoming or outgoing calls. The four buttons on the left and the four buttons on the right are your programmable keys. Um, this is where your extension number will be. And if you need to have someone else's line on your phone, you would also see them there. Any blank buttons on the left or right side of your phones that do not have anything programmed on them, you can program each of those with a number that you call frequently. And we refer to these as one touch speed dial buttons. You also will notice down here at the right, there is a scroll button. This scroll button, and I'm going to move forward to another page, this scroll button allows you to have eight more buttons on your phone, four on the left, four on the right. So you have page one and page two. Page one is typically where your extension number will be. Um, and then if you press the scroll button, you can see eight more lines. And if there's nothing programmed on here, you can program numbers that you call frequently onto each one of these lines. Once again, those are one touch speed dial buttons. Um, these four buttons right here are your soft keys. And they're called soft keys because there will be a word written above each of these in the bottom of your screen that will tell you what that button does. It will be the feature for that button. These buttons will change depending on the state of your phone. So if you have no calls on your phone, you will not say, see anything that says hold, transfer, conference. You'll see things like new call, redial, things like that. Once you get a call on your phone, then you'll see features such as hold, transfer, and conference. So depending on what you're doing with your phone will depend on what you see above each of these four soft key buttons. Using these soft key buttons can be very much like a, a, an internal instructional guide because if it's not a feature up here in your soft keys, then you probably cannot use that feature or it's not available to you. Um, if you have more than four features associated with a soft key, the last button here will say more. You'll have a dot, 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 and it'll say more, and you can press it and see other features, additional features. 
recall button uh, gives you a fresh dial tone. And the feature button allows you to access additional um, features that you have on your phone. One of them would be uh, changing the ringtone of your telephone. Then you have the answer button. When the LED is on, you can press this key to answer an incoming call. You have your mic button. Every phone is a two-way speaker phone. Um, when this key uh, is pressed, you're putting the phone into mute. And if you look at the next page here, <clears throat> this phone has a solid red mic button. So this phone is not muted. When you press the mic button and it starts flashing, then that means that your phone is muted. You can still hear the person on the other end, but they cannot hear you. Your menu button right here, when you press this, it gives you access to settings for your phone, like changing your, your display contrast and your ringtones and things like that. We'll go over that again in a second. And this is your cursor wheel. This cursor wheel helps you choose features and access things on your phone. So we're going to look at the cursor wheel right here. If you scroll up on it or down on it when you're on a call, it will control your volume. If you press the left side, it's a redial key, so it will dial the last number that you dialed. If you press the right side of it, it's going to take you to your directory. And the center button is an enter button. So when there's a, an option on your screen that you want to choose, you can press the center button to choose that. And then you have your hold, transfer, and speaker buttons, just like you do on your phones today. Um, and they work the same way. So we talked a little bit about the menu button, and these are some of the things you can use the menu button for. Um, if you want to change the settings on your screen to make the contrast lighter or darker, you would press your menu button, and then options will come up in your screen, a menu. You would press three for user settings, six for LCD settings, and one for LCD contrast. And then you're going to use the plus and minus buttons that are on the soft keys of your telephone to, to make the contrast lighter or darker. If you want to change the black light timeout, um, your phone is backlit with a light when you're using it. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that light can, um, it has a timer on it. So if you want to change that, you're going to press your menu button, three for user settings, six for LCD settings and now two for LCD backlit timeout. Um, you also, instead of pressing the options in your menu, it's going to show you each option and each will be assigned a number. You can use your scroll three to, your scroll button to scroll up and down uh, uh, with the different options, or you can just press the designated number. You can also use your menu button to change the ringtone of your telephone. So you would press three for user settings, and then you would look to see which option is choose for ringtone. Now, once again, here are your soft keys at the bottom of your screen. Remember, there'll be a word above each one that has a feature associated with it. Some of the options that you're gonna see on here will be things like new call, which will get you a new dial tone. Um, voicemail, which will call your voicemail box for you. End call if you want to hang up. You, if you're already on a call, you'll see things like conference. If you have a call on hold, you'll see resume. Um, dial means to dial the number. So you've already dialed the number, but there's a timer to wait to make sure you're not going to dial any other digits before the call goes out. So if you want to make the call go out right away, you can press dial. Uh, delete is like your backup button. So this is a, a backspace to uh, any numbers that you've just entered that you want to erase. So if you've entered the last two numbers incorrectly, you would hit the delete button twice. <clears throat> and the reject button transfers your call directly to your voicemail. Now everyone is already set up that has a mailbox. <clears throat> Excuse me, if your 
phone rings and you do not answer it within four rings, it's going to forward to your voicemail box. But if you get a call and you don't want to have that person to have listened to your phone ring four times before it goes to voicemail, you can just press reject and it immediately sends it on to voicemail. You have a feature in your phone called call history. And this is what your screen will look like when you start using this. So for your call history, you're going to press your menu button again. <clears throat> And if you want to view uh, your call history, you press two. And if you want to see your missed calls, you'll press one. Then you'll use the up and down buttons on your uh, scroll key, on your navigation key, the round button on your phone, to scroll through your missed calls. While you're viewing a missed call, you can also uh, press dial to call that number. If you want to read, uh, view your received calls, you can press the menu button, two for call history again, but this time two for received calls, and it shows you all the calls that came in and rang on your phone. And then if you want to view all your placed calls, you can press menu, so like two for call history, and then you press three for placed calls, and you use the up and down keys on your navigation screen, uh, navigation button to scroll through them, or there's an up and down uh, soft key that you can also use to scroll through your missed, received, or placed calls. And while you're, um, while you have one of those numbers highlighted, you can also always press dial to call that number back. Also, when you have missed calls, there's going to be an icon um, in your display. It's a handset with a back arrow to show you that you have missed calls. When you go in and look at your calls, your missed calls, that will go away from your screen. All right, now this is the call waiting feature. And you remember when I told you that each line can have up to four calls at a time, whether you made the call or received the call. And you'll always have, you'll have, you know, uh, one call that's active and then the others will be on hold. <clears throat> if you have a call on your phone and a new call comes in, you're gonna hear a beep tone in your ear, whether you're using your handset or a headset or your speaker, and the call waiting uh, lamp flashes up at the top right of your screen where you, it flashes when you're receiving a call and it is solid red when you have new voicemail messages. If you'd like to answer a second incoming call, all you have to do is press your line key and the caller ID will show if you want to see who's calling. If you want to answer it before you see the caller ID, just press the flashing answer key. It puts the first call on hold and answers your second call. Once you have two calls, you can do two things. You can press the end call soft key to put that second, to end the second call. Or you can press the hold key, which would put the second call on hold, and then press the answer key to return to your original call. You can also use the shuttle key to shuttle back and forth between your two callers. If you're on a call and you'd like to place a second outgoing call, you would press the hold key to put the first party on hold and then press the new call soft key, which will give you a new dial tone to make another call. Or you could just press the recall key to get a new dial tone. Then you enter your 10 digit number of the person you wish to call. And you can press dial if you want to send the call out immediately. Or if you wait a few seconds, the system knows you're not going to enter any other additional digits and it will send the call out. Once you've completed your second call, you can press the end call soft key to end it and return to your original call by pressing the resume soft key. And once again, you can press the shuttle key to shuttle back and forth between the two calls while you have two active calls. Okay, this is a three-party conferencing, and this really sort of works the same way as it did before. While you're on a call, you're going to press this conference soft key. And then that's your first caller is on hold, and now you'll have um, a dial tone to make a second outgoing call. 
As soon as you've dialed the number, you press the dial soft key, or you can wait a few seconds and the call will automatically go out. Now, <clears throat> once you've connected to the second person and the first person is on hold, you have a couple options. If you'd like to transfer one to the other, you can press the transfer key. Or if you decide um, if you don't want to complete the conference, maybe the second person can't join your call right now, to hang up from them and go back to your first caller, you'll just press the end soft key, end call soft key. And then another option is if you want to complete the conference, just press the conference soft key. And now the three people, um, you and the two other people will be connected. Sorry. <clears throat> if you are on a conference call, there's several ways you can hang up. Um, if you want to establish a conference call and you want to hang up on the person that you're calling, just press the end call soft key. So if you're dialing and you make a mistake, while the first person is on hold, you've dialed a number, it's incorrect, you can just press end soft key. If you hang up the telephone handset or you press the speaker key while you're on the phone for the third party, the other two parties will be connected in a blind transfer so that disconnects yourself and it joins the two people together. Transferring calls. Transferring calls is uh, also another feature that works the same way it does today. Um, if you want to transfer a call and stay on the line until the first, the second person answers so that you can announce the call to them, this is the process you would use. While you're on a call, you press the transfer key, and then you dial the 10-digit number that you'd like to transfer the call to. If you want all three people to speak together and you want to establish a conference call, then you can press the conference soft key. If you decide you don't want to complete the transfer and you want to hang up from the second person, you can press the end call soft key, and then you'll be returned back to your first caller. You can also go ahead and complete the transfer by pressing the transfer key. So transferring a call is still transfer, dial the number, press transfer again. And that will be for a call where you're going to stay on the line until after the second party answers. If you want to do a blind transfer where you don't have to stay on the line until the second person answers, you can press the transfer key and then you have a soft key that says blind. You're going to press the blind soft key, and then you're going to dial the 10-digit number you want to transfer them to. And then once you've dialed the number, you press the transfer key again. That will take you out of the transfer process, and the first party will be listening to the second party's phone ringing until they answer, or if they don't answer, it would go to their voicemail. You have two kinds of directories in the system. You have a corporate directory and you have a personal directory. So the first one we're going to go over is your corporate directory. To access your corporate directory, you're going to press the menu key. Then you'll press one for directory and two for corporate directory. Um, once you're in the corporate directory and the people that are in the corporate directory are going to be the people that are already on the same phone system that you're on, the new NEC 3C phone system. So you can use your up and down soft keys or the up and down keys on your round navigation button to scroll through the corporate directory. Once you find someone that you want to call in your corporate directory, you can press the dial soft key and it will dial that person. Also, while you're scrolling through, you can, you'll see icons connected with each of those numbers. So if you see a handset, that means the person is on the phone. If you see an arrow, that means the person has their calls forwarded. And if there is an envelope, you, it will show you more details like absent until tomorrow or whatever. I don't believe you're using this feature right now, so you may not see the envelope. You can also search for specific names of people you, in the corporate directory. And to do that, you're going to enter the letters 
just like you did with the original text messaging. So if you want to um, find Bob, you're going to press the two key twice to get to B. And then your cursor will move over and you're gonna press the six key three times to enter the letter O. And then you would press the two key twice again to put the letter B in. And as soon as you have enough characters that you can recognize the name, you can press the search button and it would bring up everyone who has B-O-B -B in their name. And then you can select that person. Um, you can press dial to call that person. Now the personal directory is personal just to you. This is a directory of numbers that you'll create for yourself that you can use whenever you want. So again, to access the personal directory, you're gonna press the menu button. And then you're going to press one for directory and one for your personal directory. If you want to get to your personal directory using the cursor pad, all you have to do is press the phone book to the right side of the wheel, and that will take you right to your personal directory. Now, if you want to search for someone in your personal directory, you can either use the up and down soft key buttons or you can use the up and down buttons on your wheel. And the things that you can do with your personal directory is you can add an entry, you can edit an entry, or you can delete an entry. Um, so if you want to um, see more information on a person that's in your directory, you can press the more soft key. So there'll be more than four options there. So you press the more soft key twice and then you press the detail soft key. And this gives you an extra information about that number. So to add someone in your personal directory, you're gonna press the menu key, and then you'll select one for directory, one for personal directory, or you can press the right side of your navigation wheel. And then you'll press the more soft key until you see add. Press the add soft key, and then you're going to enter a name for the person that you want to add. And once you've entered that name, then you can press the center button on your cursor wheel to um, enter the name. When you're entering a name again, remember you're using the old fashioned original type of texting. So again, where it's the same scenario as typing in Bob. For a B, you type in two, for an O, uh, you type in six three times. Um, if you want to put um, Bob Smith in there and you want the B and the S capitalized, you can use this, the star key to go between uppercase and lowercase. Now, once you have a name in and you've pressed the OK soft key, now you're going to put in a telephone number for Bob. Once you put in the number, you press the center button on your um, navigation wheel, and then you press the OK soft key to enter that phone number. Remember, if it's a person in your building, you still need to enter 10 digits. Okay. All right, now we're gonna program speed dial buttons. It's going to be those one touch speed dial buttons that you can program on the four buttons that are blank to the left of your screen and the four buttons if they're blank on the right of your screen. And then remember, you have a second page of buttons by pressing scroll that you can program eight more one touch speed dial buttons. So in order to program your speed dial key, when your phone is idle, you're gonna press your feature button and then it, <clears throat> you're gonna press your program soft key. And you're going to press one of the buttons on the left or right side of your screen that you want to program this number on. And then your LED uh, button will start flashing for that line. Then you're going to enter a name, just like we did before in our personal directory. You have to use the old fashioned texting. A B is pressing the two key twice. An O is pressing the six key three times as an example. And then you're going to press the center button on your navigation wheel. 
or you're going to press the OK soft key. And again, you can use the star to switch between lower and upper case. If you make a mistake, there's a delete soft key that you can press. Every time you press delete, it backs up one time. Then you're going to enter the phone number for the entry that you'd like to add and press again the center button on your cursor pad, or you can press the OK soft key. And then you enter the OK button again. Now also you have the, the opportunity to select a monitor setting for each speed dial button you program. Um, you have the ability to see if that person is on the phone. So let's say you're adding your coworker, and these are your coworkers now. These are um, these are the only ones that you can see if they're on the phone or not. You can have uh, um, speed dials for outside numbers, but you can't see if they're on the phone or not. So if you have an internal entry that you've put in your directory as a speed dial, all you have to do is if you want to monitor if they're on the call, there will be an option for that. And you select it, and then you press the OK soft key. If you want this number to also show in your personal directory, you can choose that option by pressing the um, center button or pressing the OK soft key to add them to your personal directory. So you don't have to add them as a one touch speed dial and then again add them as a personal directory. Um, you can do both at the same time. Then you press the save soft key to save the information and then you press the exit soft key to exit programming your speed dial number. So once you get a speed dial key programmed or a one touch key, all you have to do to call that person now is press that button. If you press it without lifting your handset, it goes out your speakerphone, or you can press it and then lift your handset and um, con connect to that person. Um, you have uh, function keys on your phone. Um, these are the, still the same four buttons on your left side of your screen, four buttons on the right side of your screen. In addition, the eight buttons that you have when you press the scroll button. These can be programmed um, for your, by your system administrator. It can have a feature on there that you may use frequently. Um, so this is the, the way you would program a function onto one of those eight buttons on the page one and eight buttons on page two. Uh, these are the icons that you'll see when you um, have people programmed as one touch speed dial buttons on your telephone. So you can see if their phone is registered or working and these will also be um, on your phone. If your phone is um, solid black, then your phone is registered properly. If it's just the outline of a telephone, then that means your phone is unregistered. And so you would need to call the service desk to open a ticket for that. And all of these icons here are icons that you would see at one point or another when you're either using your own phone, so they would um, reflect status of your own phone or when you're calling other people or when you're speaking to other people. You could see one of these icons. So this is a uh, page covers your voicemail options. Your voicemail box is a new voicemail box. So it does need to be set up again if they're not moving your old mailbox over to your new mailbox. Fortunately though most of the um, the, the items, the options that you can press are, are going to be the same as you use today because it is the same type of system, but it is a new system for you. So um, in order to set your mailbox up and you cannot retrieve your new messages until you go through the first time tutorial and set up your mailbox. So to do that, you're going to press your voicemail button and then you're going to be prompted to enter your default passcode, which is going to be 73738 for everyone. This is what everyone has to enter the first time they access their mailbox to set it up. Once you've done that, the um, 
The tutorial will walk you through setting up your mailbox. It will walk you through recording your greeting, recording your mailbox name, and changing your passcode to something private that only you know. Um, below are the different ways you can access your mailbox depending upon where you are. So if you're at your own telephone, all you have to do is press the voicemail soft key, or you can dial 410-697-9788. This is the new number you would use to call voicemail if you want to dial a 10-digit number to get to voicemail rather than pressing your voicemail box button. This is a different number than what you're used to dialing before. So remember, your new messages are now going to go into your new mailbox. So when you call, if you call the old number that you used to use to access voicemail, you're accessing your old voicemail box and there will not be any new messages in there, just the old messages that you had before that you had saved. And then you're going to enter after you press your voicemail button, then you're gonna press enter your new passcode. Um, if you're sitting at someone else's desk in the office, you again would press the voicemail soft key. But when the system answers, you need to press the star key and the pound key to say, I d I'm not trying to get into this mailbox, I want to get in my own voicemail box. Then you're going to enter your 10 digit voicemail box number. Remember you call each other now with 10 digit numbers and your mailbox numbers are now 10 digit numbers. And then once you put in your 10 digit mailbox number, you'll be prompted to enter your passcode. If you're at home or somewhere outside of your building and you'd like to call into your mailbox, you'll dial the new number 410-697-9788. And then when the system answers, again, you have to press the pound button to let the system know that you are a person checking your messages um, because at this point it has no clue who you are because you're outside the system. Then you'll be prompted to enter your 10 digit mailbox number and then your passcode. Um, when you're recording a new greeting, if you want to go in and change your greeting after you've done the first time to, uh, tutorial to set up your mailbox, you'll um, enter your passcode. You'll press eight and then one and then three to re-record your greeting. And, and once again, these options are pretty much the same as they were in your old voicemail system. So we're at the end of our presentation. I just want to thank you for joining and I hope this helps you a little bit when you're trying to learn your new phone and your new voicemail system. Thank you very much and have a great day.